Welcome back Casey County High School. Happy 2024. I'm Hannah. And I'm Chloe. And we'd like to welcome you back to the new WREB News, bringing you all the latest in Rebel Nation. Our lead story for this week is brought to you by Nolan Blake, who talked to Sam Terwilliger, a freshman at Casey County, who's making the most of his musical talents. Hey CCHS. Last week I had the opportunity to speak with Sam Terwilliger on his journey with the guitar and how he used it to help provide for his school and community. As sure as night is dark and day is light. Sam Terwilliger began his guitar journey through inspiration fueled by his family's musical history. Although at first it was a time waster, he saw this talent could benefit those around him. I really got introduced to it uh, in 2020. Um, didn't really have anything else to do. Guitar seemed like a good time waster and it eventually turned into this thing that I could show off to people with. Uh, so honestly, it kind of turned out good for me in the outrun. run. Sam talks about his first experience playing in front of the crowd and how far he has come since. Uh, one of the counselors came up to me and, uh, you know, they say, you know, hey, Sam, uh, we heard you play guitar. Do you want to play for uh, our basketball team, volleyball team? So I'm like, yeah, sure. Um, and I, I got on stage uh, and it's like going to your first plate practice. I mean, you're more nervous than all get outs. I mean, especially playing guitar, you got to focus on what your hand is doing because everything is wiped out of your brain when you start playing. Um, and that's what happened. Uh, I messed up on one of my riffs uh, during the uh, playing. Uh, I didn't stop, you know, I, I didn't break down crying or anything, but I, I picked it back up and I finished the riff as dreadfully as I could. Definitely, uh, as far as playing in front of a crowd goes, uh, definitely, once you get done, you know, once you actually remember your chords, um, you eventually start just being able to go through, you know, not as nervous or anything like that. Uh, but as far as just generally, um, you know, doing things in front of people and in front of crowds, um, I've definitely been better as far as uh, talking to people, you know, especially in plays, which I still do sometimes, uh, especially for churches and all this such. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the majority of uh, how it's helped me improve as far as socialism goes. Thanks, Sam. Back to the desk. Thank you so much, Nolan. In other news, the FAFSA opened up for seniors during the winter break, and Brody has some important FAFSA information. FAFSA opened up December 31st for any senior who would like to continue their education after high school. Ms. Emerson was kind enough to talk to us about it. The FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. It's used to apply for federal, state, and college-based financial aid. It assists free money. It is not a loan. This includes your keys money and your grants. So there have been changes to the FAFSA this year. It's been made to be faster and easier to fill out. Um, there have been issues with the website, so you can expect some glitches if you do try to fill it out now. Joplin, however, our Kia Outreach Counselor, will be here January 23rd for our FAFSA workshop um, from 2 to 6. So you can be looking out for that, and that is for the seniors, not the juniors, the seniors. Thank you so much, Ms. Emerson. Back to the studio. Moving along, while the rest of us were on winter break, the basketball teams kept busy. Here is sophomore Carson Beeler with that story. Hey CCHS, we spoke with some of the players about their games over the winter break. Here's what they had to say. What is it like playing so many games in such a short time? It's um, very tiring because you don't get much rest because you go game after game after game. What are you all working on in practice? Uh, mainly defense and we have to rebound. We have to learn how to rebound the ball very well because we're so short. What do you think you're best at in game? I would say getting my teammates involved and getting them the ball when they're open. What are your strong suits during the game? I think my strong suits are being able to shoot free throws when we need them and to be able to play good defense. What did you do during practice to prepare you for the game? Working on free throws and shooting a lot of three-pointers because we need to be able to knock shots down. Thanks guys, now back to the studio. At the end of last year, several of our HOSA members were recognized by the Regional HOSA Committee. Katie Russell has that story. Hey, Casey County High School, this is Caitlin Russell. 
At the end of last semester, several of our students placed in host a competition that was hosted by Bluegrass Tech in Danville. We talked to some of those. Here's what they had to say. So we went to Danville and we competed in Hostable and we got third place with Riley and Bree. So we practiced sagers on baby dolls as well as practice putting tourniquets on the arms of the dummies. Congrats, Hosa. Now back to the studio. Next up, Gear Up is running a fundraiser for St. Jude. Tyler Short talked to Caden Lawhorn and Stephen Flores about it. St. Jude's Children's Hospital is working to end childhood cancer, and Gear Up is helping to support them. We're promoting Coin Wars, a fundraiser hosted by Guppy Club to raise funds for St. Jude. St. Jude is a children's hospital that works to bring the end of childhood cancer. To participate, students can bring change donations to the Gear Up room. These donations will be weighted. The class that brings in the most coins by weight by January 31st will win a special opportunity. The winning class will get to go to the gym as they watch the class president pie Mr. Knight in the face. Please bring in your coin donations to help fight the battle to end childhood cancer. Bring donations to Ms. Johnson in the gear up room. That's it for this week's edition of WRB News. I'm Hannah. And I'm Chloe. See, See you next week, Rebel Nation. CCHS, we spoke with some of the players about their games over the winter break. Here's what they had to say. No, <laughs> <laughs>